again with one of my tutorial videos for Final Cut Pro 10. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use slow motion videos in Final Cut Pro. Now, it's going to be extremely smooth, and there's also optical effects and other kind of effects that make it even more smoother. Um, as you know, if you use like Cyber Director or um, Pinnacle Studio or Sony Vegas, they're just really inferior when it comes to these things. And if you have a Mac, you're already ahead of the game for as far as video editing. Um, those aforementioned programs, their slow motion is generally very chop choppy and kind of just kind of it, it not really smooth at all. So I'm just showing you how to do this in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so let's start off by opening up Final Cut Pro. All right, now as you see here, I have a video of an RC car going off a jump. Now this is the perfect example right here. It rolls like that. Perfect example, a lot of motion going on there. So let's stop right there. Let's go up right before it hits the jump. Now there's two ways you can do this. If you already know the Final Cut Pro, if you don't, there is the blade button. You can click right here, the blade. And then you can also push B and you'll select the blade. Or you can, if you want a quick, a quick way to do it, you can just right there and just go Command B. And it will right there. Just do that. So we'll go ahead just a little bit. Slow motion right there. And we'll stop it about right there. So we'll go Command B again. All right, now what we'll do is we'll come forward here and we'll select this clip right there. We'll start it about right here. Select the clip. Come over to this emblem right here. Click on it. Now click slow. And we'll start at about 50%. There. All right. And then, so we'll let it render. So now as we start out again, we'll click this. Push play. And as you see, it's really smooth. Really smooth. Just like that. Now, if you wanted to increase the slow motion of it, you just stretch it out, just like that. We'll go to 40%, let's try that. All right, now we'll restart it. We'll let that render, actually. That needs to render before it gets, because um, it'll be kind of choppy and stuff, not really uh, smooth, so let it render real fast. Okay, now that it's rendered, um, let's start okay, I can get back again. Now, you see it's a lot slower. Now, now what we can do, so that's not really smooth, like anyway, it's kind of it's kind of smooth, but it's not really. So what we'll do is we'll fix that. So we'll come back up here again. We'll click on this. We'll come down to video quality right here. We'll click on optical flow. Now we'll let that render again. You can also click on this right here, and it tells you at the very top it's transcoding and analysis. And I believe after that, it should render again. There it goes. Now, optical flow, this, this takes a little time, so you got to be really methodical about what you want to use for your slow motion. Um, so let it render all the way through. We'll do a little fast rendering. Okay, now we'll try it again. We'll play back. Now, as you see, it's a lot more smoother. A lot more smoother. So that's how you do that. Now, you can also do, sometimes I like this sound. You can tell the sound's kind of clicky-clacky. You come up here, hit this button right here. Now, what you want to do is you want to go down, down here, to preserve pitch right here. Now, if I play it again, now it's got a more deeper tone. Boom, boom, yeah, more of a deeper, it's more of a slow motion voice. So that's it. That's all it takes right there. Now, you can, like I said, you can stretch this out all the way to increase the slowness of it, or you can decrease this if you want a little, little, little less. So um, I'm Hana Dash. Please subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Honda Dash 84. If you'd like to leave any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below. Also, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Also, I greatly appreciate it if you do watch my videos, please hit that like button as well. If you'd like to contact me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.